we got some new forks. These are the Marzocchi Bomber Z1 forks. This is a coil fork. It's got 180 millimeters of travel and we're gonna be installing it on the Clash. All the pieces don't get loose. There we have it. It's free. Everything's out of the way. I think I'm gonna cut the new forks the same height as the ones I have now. I really like this height, so I think I'm gonna stick with it. This thing is nice. I am excited. doesn't have to be perfect as long as it's in the same general area we're gonna use something a little faster safety first so this isn't the best way to do this but I'm too lazy to do it by hand and I usually get a pretty straight cut That is our end result. I just gotta file it down, this round file, and we should be golden. Now we gotta pop this bad boy off. There's a tool for this. I just haven't bought it yet. I rarely change my fork, so that's why it's it's hard for me to make the purchase on. I'm just gonna tap this piece into the fork. I don't recommend doing this either. This is not the right way, but I just want to make it work. This is what I'm using to hammer it in. I just put a little piece of duct tape at the end so it doesn't damage the piece that I'm attaching to the fork. Bingo bango. It's flush with the fork. And little to no damage to the top. This Cane Creek headset has been incredible. I don't think I'll ever run another brand of headset. It's been solid since the day I installed it. My camera died, so I got it charging. In the meantime, we're gonna film on the iPhone. It does come with a star nut that we are going to be using
I just messed up. Rookie mistakes, man. I put his bottom piece upside down. And because I put it upside down, there the fork's not moving. There's it's way too tight. I guess we gotta redo it. Okay, cool. I put that piece good. It was the bearing that I put upside down. Whew. I got so freaking lucky. There we go. There she is, Bomber Z14 installed. I got it to the settings I think I'll like, but I won't really know until I actually go ride it on a trail. So hopefully this weekend, if it doesn't rain, we'll get a dial of this fork in. I am so stoked how that turned out. It was not the smoothest install, but we got it done and at the end of the day that's all that matters and now it's just a matter of taking it out to a trail and dialing in like the settings and stuff like that just based off of the look of it i can already tell i'm gonna love it it's just so beefy it's crazy but yeah this was mainly just like an unboxing slash install video the next video i put out will be my first ride impression on this thing and i'll talk a little bit more in depth of how I feel on it, what I think about it, etc, etc. That wraps up this install. I hope you guys enjoyed, even though it was a funky one. And I'll catch you guys on the next video.